Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Take a look at a problem with Windows Defender saying that remediation was incomplete. There's a couple possibilities here. The majority of time, it's a file you downloaded. For example, right here, I'm playing with Desynchronize, and to give the guy a little respect, we've had this on Major Geeks for four or five years. It's clean, it's safe, but recently has become flagged. So let's say I'm using Google Chrome, and I click right here and decide I'm going to keep it. Now you'll notice it's going to pause here because Windows Defender is scanning it, and then it's going to flag it. Now it says failed, virus detected, so it's gone, correct? Here's my download folder. No desynchronize.zip. So what do we do? You can go up into your Windows security right down here. You'll probably have the X by now. And I'll mention right now before we move forward, so I don't hopefully I don't vent too much. I, I use Windows Defender myself for my main antivirus, but it's full of problems with the interface they've improved it but they got a ways to go and this is a good example so this is great it tells you there's a problem so you click here and it says there's no problem it says there's no problem check this out there it is today's date and time remediation incomplete so what do you do with it don't do anything with it leave it alone it'll clear itself out after after some time just ignore it forget about it if it's from a file that you download you know it's safe the other thing you can do is pay attention while you're here to where the file is right here and what the file name in question is you have the zip you have the file here's the file right here so i'm looking for of course this is a zip desynchronize.exe inside of desynchronize.zip you may just have a path to the executable we're going to want to know this going down the road so as you can see your actions have nothing but allow so now I can click allow and if I download it again it's gonna still be here this will still sit right here I'll show you what happens real quick start it out fresh and it should tell me right there this thread or app has been allowed and will not be remediated in the future so why is it say remediation incomplete I don't know it should clear it out when it does this so maybe somebody from Microsoft can take a look at this and yeah, that's pretty funny and uh, fix the problem because the questions on the Windows support forum or the answers from their 20 year MVPs is absolutely horrific just stupid stupid answers sorry I told you I wasn't gonna vent no I'm venting all right so if it's a false positive keep the file allow it as I just showed you here and you're good to go now what if it's something else a virus malware Trojan I don't know scroll down here in this page a little bit it'll be linked to in the video tutorial right about now and we're gonna take you step by step through here get iobit uninstaller if it's a program that was installed for example something you didn't want to install download that because iobit uninstaller will remove fully the program the files the folders the registry entries and Windows uninstaller doesn't always do that that's if you have a program that's installed you didn't know. I would also run it from safe mode. There's directions here on how to boot into safe mode. And let's see here. Everything else. Unlocker. Let's say the file that we discussed, you know where it is. You can see it. You know it's a problem. You can't get rid of it. Download Unlocker. This is the number one program on Major Geeks for unlocking locked files, which is common with malware. Note that it's ad supported. And we mark right here why it offers to install the Delta toolbar so when you do the installation uncheck the Delta toolbar or go to the portable version which doesn't have it and that's right there there you have it now let's say you think you got infected grab malware bytes from major geeks just take your time you don't have to do all these steps just do what you have to till you get the problem solved do a complete scan with malware bytes and finally you could do a system file checker now we're down to the last two you shouldn't have to do these but they're here because it's gonna happen to somebody hopefully not you system file checker we have a video tutorial on that right here on YouTube and just follow these steps and run system file checker it can fix some problems and last but not least the thing I hate to tell people more than anything else reset this PC we have a guide on that as well and probably have a video tutorial yes we do How about that so 
back up your photos, your videos, your music, stuff like that. You can reset your computer to basically a clean install of Windows 10, which should remove any problems. But again, most importantly, do not forget if it's a downloaded file with a false positive, please just ignore it. Get the file if you need it, as I showed you, and just ignore it. It shouldn't be a problem. There you have it. That is how you should fix the Windows Defender remediation incomplete. Most of you can pretty much ignore it. There you have it. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.